Hi, this video follows on from the previous video about collections and is for BIM managers wanting to deploy Family Browser to their users, all their users at their site. So the BIM manager is made up all his, um, all his groups and tabs and then exported his local groups and tabs out as collections and he may have a, uh, may have a multiple copies of collections or maybe just one. I'm going to go to um, my documents family browser 2012 and just double click on Kiwi codes local uh, and it is blank which I'd suggest that's what you should have it at blank um, before deploying it to the users because then the users will populate their own and the family browser master is pointing to that blank user collection as well as a collection on a shared directory that everyone can see now you may have three or four of those, as many as you like, but you'll at least have one. Okay, so that looks all set up fine. What we're going to do now is um, create a deployment, some deployment files. So I'm just going to right mouse click on Family Browser, go to BIM Management and go to Create Deployment. Here it's asking you to enter your site activation code here, which um, we will have emailed you. In this case here, um, because this computer is already registered, I'm just going to um, type in test deployment. It won't matter. And go create. Okay, so deployment, deployment folder created. Um, it's saying copy the folder deployment that has been created in C program files, Kiwi codes, family browser to the location that you're installing family browser from. Okay, so now if I just go and have a look at this and go to C Program Files um, Kiwi Codes Family Browser, there is now a folder in here on your local machine called Deployment 2012. Now if I um, have a look in there, it's got four files. You've got a deployment number text, which I'll explain later, the Family Browser Master, which is basically your master, which has been copied over, except I will have removed the um, pointer to your local because that was a pointer to your local whereas the user needs a pointer to the lo their local that'll be created later and the Kiwi codes um, local collection which is blank okay now what that um, message box was saying is I need to copy that so I'm going to cut that out of there and I'm going to put it in the same location as I'm running the family browser setup so in that case my case, I'm going to run it from setups. Um, obviously, this will be different on on your computers. Um, so I've placed it in the same directory as the setup is running from. Okay, now I'm just going to go to the Kiwi Codes folder and go to Family Browser. Just check there's no folder in there called Deployment. There's not. Now I'm going to go to my Documents, um, Users. My documents, and I'm just going to check that Family Browser 2012 is not there. Okay, it is. I'm just going to delete that to show you this working. So now back to the setups um, and run Family Browser. It's going away doing the normal setup of Family Browser, other than it is checking to see if there's a deployment folder, and if there is, it'll copy it over. Okay, let's finish that. And so if I now go back to Family Browser, you'll notice now that the deployment folder has been copied over there. It's got the, our keys in there and our collections, and it's got deploy number one text all been copied over. So I'm just going to close out of River and I'll start that up again. And when it starts up, the tabs will come in all preset up and it'll also register as well if the computer's not been registered. Okay, Revit started up now and if I move my mouse over it is all populated with the thing um, the tools and stuff from the deployment. If I now go back to my documents again um, here we got Family Browser 2012 repopulated again. Now you notice there's a deploy number one text. That means uh, this deployment here is the first deployment. Now if a BIM manager was to change 
um, something or add new um, collections and he wants to push that out to the rest of the users what he can do is make his changes in family browser and then once again run and create the deployment obviously you'd put your own um, activation key in there not not text like that now if I go to Kiwi codes it's created that deployment and what it's done in here is it's created the updated that file to call deploy number two dot text now on Revit load up and family browser load it will check to make sure this file name here matches the file name in the users and if not it means that um, it needs to refresh the deployment and it will copy over not the local not this one here but it will copy over the master file which will point to the new collections or the updated collections that the BIM manager wants so that's the new deployment feature of Family Browser 2012 um, so automatic um, creation of groups and tabs to the users and also automatic licensing without the user having to enter those codes in and then restarting Revit. So I hope that helps.